Hey guys, Picano here, bringing guys another GTA 5 video. In today's video, we have the new Debashi Spectre, which is basically the DB11 in real life, and this is the stock form car. Now, can we just say one thing straight away? This has got to be one of the best looking cars in the game, and this is stock. Like, the, the way Rockstar have done this, I thought they'd fallen off with that Italia GT, whatever you call it, that supercar, but it's fantastic. So, the way to, uh, the way to purchase it, obviously, you need to go to the internet and then obviously go to uh, travel and then go to Benny's which is here and then uh, stock and you can see the car is 600,000 basically um, and then obviously you can take it to Benny's and obviously have some upgrades on it so that's what we're going to do so let's take it to Benny's um, but even the sound stock listen to this really does sound uh, sounds pretty tasty um, so it is a quite a wide car. I'm going to say that straight away. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see what this can do. I mean, look at the shine on that. That is, it's, that's it's pretty insane. I'm not going to lie, pretty insane. So we could leave it like this, or we could just upgrade it. I think we're going to just upgrade it just because it's the showcase and it goes wide. Wow, like the left wheel to the right wheel is like literally two different postcodes. Like that is so wide. Um, so let's do let's do some uh, let's do some nice upgrades on this. So these are all the bumpers. Um, the car, if I'm honest, I do like the the way it wasn't as wide. If that makes sense, the stock version. But anyway, we'll go with this. Um, we're gonna keep it. Try and keep it as classy as we can. Um, diffusers. These are all the diffusers we can get. So carbon fiber. Um, hmm, that just looks like that's gonna fucking kill you that if someone steps out on that oh my god your legs are gone um we're gonna go with we're gonna go with that um chassis fenders you can have the fenders on the side oh okay so you can have these uh, basically turn into sort of like a proper sort of like liberty walk style car and um, we'll keep we'll keep it like that engine obviously engine tunes we'll have level four um exhaust these are all the exhausts you can get on the uh, on the car, oh my mind! Did I see an exhaust on the side there? Yeah, exhaust. That just looks stupid. I'm not gonna lie. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it kind of classy. Um, I'm gonna keep it classy. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go for those. Um, interior. Obviously, you can change the dash. The dash is completely new to this car, which is insane. You can go for the carbon fiber look, as you can see there. Um, dials. You can change the dials, boost gauges, all that good stuff there. Uh, doors. You can have obviously carbon fiber door cards, seats, you can change the seats on there as you can see here. So there's a lot of options Rockstar doing now, steering wheel obviously as well, which we can uh, we can change. And then the light color of the uh, of the dials on there, and then the roll cage as well. Do we want a roll cage in it? Probably not. Um, lights, obviously we'll put xenons, uh, liveries, these are all the liveries you can get for it, you can go for that sort of carbon. Not carbon, but that sort of contrast looks like a panda. Um, and then you can have these racing uh, decals. We're going to keep it plain because I like clean cars. Plates, obviously, you can have the uh, the plates on the back as well. Respray, skirts. These are all the different skirt options, as you can see here. So we're going to go with. Hmm. We're going to go with that. Spoiler. This is interesting. So you can have a spoiler. Oh my god. What? What? It's like a ski ramp. That doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, that's definitely come off a plane. Um, and that looks like stairs. So, anyway. Um, oh my god. Oh, the, the amount of wings. Oh shit, look at that. That's some sort of NASCAR style there. Anyway. Um, we're going to go with. I think that looks pretty nice, but I like that. I think that just looks clean. Clean looking. Suspension, let's drop it. Transmission. So grey turbo wheels, kind of like in those standard wheels, but as you guys know, hmm, actually, I think that does look pretty nice. I'm gonna go and go with black on those windows. We're not gonna do. Let's go for a respray. Not gonna lie, kind of liking the way it looks already. Um, but oh my god, oh my, should we just black it out? Should we just do that? Or should we go for a? Oh yes, should we go for a grey? Like an that's like a you know like you get on those Audi nowadays that like Nardo grey sort of colour. 
Yeah, we're, we're, we're going with that. We're, we're definitely going with that. And we're going to go for a... Could go for a pearlescent just to make it pop. Should we go with that? Just give it that nice sign, shine, I should say. Sea green. So, guys, that is that is the car. And that is looking insane. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Like, yeah, that's cool. That's, that's really cool. So, let's take it for a little drive. Let's have a listen to how this sounds first, now with upgrade. Okay, that's the, yeah, that's that's sick. Right, so is it four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? I should uh, correctly pronounce it. Let's have a look. Nope. See, it's rear-wheel drive. Pretty much what Aston's are in real life, anyway. Um, so let's uh, let's take it for a drive. So this is obviously the upgrade from Benny's the wide body, super super wide car. Um, to be honest, I did like the the way the car looked already. So that's personal preference. What I can say is, you know, you, you get those first impressions on anything in life, and this doesn't disappoint. This car feels really nice. Those two corners that I've taken does feel really, really nimble, and it, ooh, it does feel pretty nippy. I don't think it's got great top speed, but it does feel really, really nice through these corners. Let's, uh, let's chuck it in. Oh. Okay, right, so it does like to step out. See, if you had a Massacro there, you'd just floor it and nothing would happen. This car does like to skip then. So it's a bit of a challenge. But yeah, it's, it is quick through uh, getting up to like third, fourth gear. Let's put it into this corner here. Go down here. Let's throw it into some... Con can we jump this Jeep? Can we jump it? Yeah, of course we can. So, yeah, the back does like to, uh, to skip out, as you can see there. Bit of throttle control. And then what we're going to do is uh, go on two wheels here. Yeah, through the lamppost. There we go. Knock that pedestrian into Mars. And then understeer into that uh, Cadillac. Yeah, it's great. Sick. Well done. Oh, my God. My driving skills are on point. This is what I do for a living in this game. And it's sick. That's really shocking. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I am liking this car. The way it feels is pretty damn insane. Almost so insane that you know when you go into walls, the car just wheelies. Like, have you ever, have you ever seen that before? Because uh, yeah. yeah, let's 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 be serious and actually take this for a proper drive. Right, concentration, concentration. Let's not crash. Let's be ballsy as hell and let's not crash. All right. So this is the interior, guys. If you guys don't already know, nice interior. But we're going to be as ballsy as fuck and we're going to not crash. So it, it feels really light on the back, like all the bumps of uh, me lamppost doesn't count. But yeah, it does feel really really light on the back. It's like these little bumps. So let's uh, let's bring it through here. So let's try not hit another car. We can hit lampposts. Well, let's not. Let's try not hit lampposts. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know what happened there, um, thing, sh shit happens in life, let's, uh, let's keep going, let's, uh, let's edit that out, let's not edit that out, let's break here, because this is going to throw the car off, as you can see there, ooh, sneak through the gap, bit of throttle control through here, yeah, it's quite a hard car to control, to get the best out of it, but it, uh, does reward you get it right it feels really really nice get it wrong then you pretty much die and go up uh, you know up buildings and start doing wheelies and stuff oh it's starting to rain get the traction going now or lack of traction should say fit through here yeah and here yes okay we're gonna floor it we're gonna floor it we're gonna um, okay I don't know how that helped us that was pretty insane Let's see what it's like to uh, to drift. So let's go over here, over this mini. Okay, now I'm just doggy styling it. But anyway, right. Let's uh, let's throw it into some corners. Let's see what we can do. Not very well because there's a bunch of minis everywhere. But uh, let's, let's 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 just give let's just give that another go. Let's just give that another go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Let's try it through here. Yeah, um, this car. It, it's a bit, it's a bit twitchy. Let's 
try again. That's right. Concentration face now. Let's go. Sick. You can tell I've lost the uh, lost all driving habit. Uh, let's, let's go through here. Let's go through here. Yes. Car bogged down. How sick is that? Right. There we go. Get the back end going. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's give this uh, some more goes. So yeah. I mean. Uh, I mean, personally, on looks alone, it's it's amazing. So I'd probably buy it for that reason alone. Um, I can't drive for shit today. Like, I can't drive. But anyway, let's throw it into here. Oh, that was pretty tasty. Controlling the uh, controlling the back end. It's a wide car, so the perspective that I normally have on cars, you've got another half a car to worry about here because it's so damn wide. Over the mini. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because I killed the driver as well. No traction, no traction, no traction. Yeah. Let's go through. Let's take it through here. Oh, pretty damn tasty. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is the Spectre, which is the DB11 um, IRL. And is it worth the money? I think so. I mean, if... If you can base a car on looks alone, definitely. You know, it's it feels good. It's probably not the quickest car in the, in the sports class. You know, it doesn't feel like the most grippiest thing. But in terms of a car's like feeling, like the way it feels, it just feels sick. Like through here, it just feels amazing. And then when you want to drift it and just you know take some nice turns, it it can do it. So yeah, that's uh, that's my point of view on it, guys. I think you should if you've got the uh, spare money laying around then I think you should definitely go for it because I think it's an amazing car even just to look at just having your garage is uh, is pretty damn insane so guys hopefully you enjoyed the video leave a like if you did and subscribe if you are new to the channel and just admire that beauty